Also, is your real name Doolittle? Yeah. You've definitely spoken to multiple animals. Yeah, Who's your I favorite actually, I, to like talk to? Well, we're watching a Shane video, so I really like cats. Great. Hi, sisters. It's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I have a guest with me, my new pal, Troy. Hi, hi everybody, what's up? Troy here. I always say, you know, H.T. Hayes, but but yeah, no, we're friends, friends. My friends call me Troy. Yeah. Today, we're going to be watching some Shane Dawson music videos. Now, you're a fan of music. I frequent the tunes quite often, actually. As for Shane, though, Oh. Like, for real, I've never listened to any of his music. Really? Like, okay. I knew he made music. At some point, every single YouTuber is going to make a song. Sure. You got to get that residual, you know, income through Spotify, the, even yeah, though it's like... 50 cents a month. Yeah, yeah. fucking half of a cent. But uh, no, never listen to any Shane music. So going in blind. Um, Hopefully not coming out blind, but... Hopefully not. Actually, he's been known to make fun of the blind. So. Oh, that's not funny at all. Let's hope that it's not in this video. So I've talked about Shane quite a lot on my channel. Big fan, huh? Well, I used to be a big fan. I remember when he came out with a movie and I rented it on iTunes and I watched it. I was a huge fan. Now I can sort of look back and and say, hey, I don't think that this is okay anymore or funny. Yeah, that's what there needs to be more of. Going back and changing your opinion about things, you know, yes. and making that public and saying, yeah. hey, this used to be cool. Yes, of course. Not cool anymore. Not cool. The name of his movie, almost like you knew. Not, Not cool? cool? Yeah. What the fuck? You're saying that you weren't that big of a fan, but like, <laughs> I think behind I think that door you know. over there is just <laughs> fucking Shane merch. Like, I'm talking body pillows. Yeah, pallets. His new baby in there. He's having a baby as well. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. What? He's having a child? He's having a child. Like with a, like- He has a surrogate. Okay. Oh man. Talk about somebody who definitely shouldn't be a parent. Uh, yeah, you think? The same guy who got canceled for calling babies sexy? Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, just give him one. Did they not do any research? Huh. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Let's see how his music career pans out. <laughs> I woke up on the wrong side of my floor My clothes still smell like the night before Where am I? Why am I talking to myself? Okay, let's just dive right on in. First thing I notice, production definitely giving me 2012 YouTuber intros. What's up guys? Ukulele? Right, yeah, right out literally. the start? Giving me royalty free beats? I love that he's going pop. Out of all the genres, thank God he's going into pop. I could show you this later, but he has had a rap career. Um, Jesus fuck. Christ. And a lot of people don't know about this. This is a really good intro to show you. He puts on the singing voice. Also, pay attention to the lyrics because mm. let's see if uh, anything's offensive. I'm like a fat kid running through a candy store. Well, wow, that was unbelievably fast. <laughs> Kind of just like a low bar too, like not a bar as in like yeah. a bar. The bar for lyricism is below the ground, leagues deep. It's almost like he just found like a stereotype and was going to say, you know what, this is a simile. Nobody can tell me wrong. He's really bringing out the pen game early. That's right. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like there's going to be more to go with this. He's not going to stop at Fat Kid running through oh, a candy Oh, never. Store. Oh, no. It wouldn't be Shane Dawson if he stopped there, dude. Yeah, if he knew when to stop. I'm like a nympho surrounded by a bunch of whores. Why can't I just get control over myself? Self. I'm not trying to be a saint. I don't Oh, fuck up support group. I'm just trying to make my way. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a fucker. Oh man, okay. The song itself, like the lyrics in itself are so unappealing. This is the kind of song that I feel like YouTubers make where it's like, they're doing it solely for themselves. Like, I can see Shane Dawson making this video way back in the day as almost a form of a half serious apology. It's like, oh, let me just drop this song and explain that like, yeah, I'm a fuck up, sorry. Like, not taking any accountability for whatever he had done that year or, or yes. whatever, you know? No. Blackface, you know. Oh, jeez. Um, it's also not helping that he is mentioning just like a bunch of stereotypes. I don't know if saying that you're a nympho surrounded by a bunch of whores is the way to redeem yourself. It's definitely not redeeming at all, which is what I feel like he's kind of feeling like it is doing, which is so backwards. Sure. It's kind of wild how twisted a song like this really is. Did you say that this one was deleted? This one is still up. The deleted ones are ones that had cancelable things in them. Mm. 
canceled. Okay, okay. He thinks that this is not cancelable. He has no issue with having this video out. Right, like this is still up, this is on his channel. I don't know what his thought process was in this, especially because I think that this is not more cancelable, but it's pretty bad putting out a video where it's like, I promise you that I'm understanding that I'm a fuck up. It's all very like off, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? Let's hear what the rest of the chorus in the second verse okay. is gonna say. I, I gotta hear more of these similes he's he's connecting. Sure. Yeah, I can't do nothing right. I'm sorry, I'm a fuck up. Yeah. There's all the fuck ups. Yeah, right. This is honestly pretty fucked up. The fact that he's saying all these people are fuck ups when like clearly they're in an AA type meeting. They're all recovering. And he's just strolling through like, hey, fuck ups. Hey, fellow fuck ups. Fellow fuck yeah. I'm just like you. Like Shane, no, you're not. These people have like real issues. You're just a fucking weirdo. But also like what is considered a fuck up? Also, was that Sawyer Hartman? I'm sorry. I need to know. You know what? That is like the second Sawyer Hartman reference that I've made on my channel and everybody appreciates it every time. I used to love Sawyer dude. I Me used to too. think he was so fucking cool, man. I'm glad he distanced himself from Shane, but seeing him in these kind of videos, like, oh. Yeah. He didn't like him in the lick my body challenge with Tyler Oakley. What? <laughs> what even was YouTube? Yeah. That is literally Sawyer Hartman, bro. I love Sawyer. I love that that is actually Sawyer Hartman. This is legitimately him being just the best friend he could possibly be. Also, love that hair. He gets to the set. And Shane's like, all right, you're playing this dude that has a broken arm, okay? And he's a fuck up, right? I'm gonna actually need to break your arm. He just cracks his fucking arm. Yeah, that would be really funny if Shane really took over and was like, listen here, you fuck. Yeah, he oh, takes fuck. being a director like Jared Leto takes any fucking role. We're not paying for something, a fake broken arm. We need to see the ligaments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shane is in his Joker era for sure. Do nothing right. I'm sorry, I'm, a I'm sorry that I keep pausing, but it's also yeah. like, she just has a bird cage, you know? <laughs> I what? just like birds. Yeah, well, guess what? I got the room for you. And then just a surgeon who kills people, I guess. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this was a surgeon that was not successful in his oh, surgery. Now he's considered a fuck up. And now he's considered a fuck up. Yeah. So if <gasps> um, no, no, no. Shane. 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 Next. Fuck up. Wait, Jesus Christ. Wait, I'm actually genuinely confused out of this. Why is she there? Isn't the joke she's in a Boy Scouts thing and he's in a Girl Scouts thing? That can never happen in the Shane Dawson multiverse. That's so bad, dude. He really thought he was doing something with this, bro. He did. He's like, uh, so what is the most fucked up thing? Boy in dress? Okay. And commit the S word. He used to talk about like his struggles with depression. Yeah, I was gonna say, hasn't he talked about his like literal... <laughs> Attempts, yes, yes, I believe, yeah. This is a really nice deep dive into Shane's subconscious of what he I, thinks makes him a fuck up. That, da, 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 that was popular at that time. Like, it's almost like he's taking every poppy thing. It's just the most layup of a post chorus. It's not even a post chorus. It's just, this is clearly a badly written song. The pen game that, that needs to be praised, you know? His lyrics are on the same level as, like, maybe a Denzel Curry or. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Because it's, so it's so good. <laughs> Oh, wait. Those two names do not need to be. Shane Dawson and Denzel Curry are coming out with a, an album together. It would have been really smart for him to do a collaboration EP with Trisha Paytas at one point in his career. That? That, oh. that, that would have sold so well. It would have sucked massive monkey dick. Yeah, for sure. It would have been chart topic. Definitely number two on the pop charts. A friend told me that she wants a break and that being with me is what turned her gay. What's with me? Oh yeah, that happened. This is just like a nice little, you know, walk down memory lane of Shane's yeah. career. But also now he's a fuck up for coming out as gay. His girlfriend came out as gay after they broke up. <laughs> he's saying that she told him being with him turned her gay, which I just right. don't believe. This poor girl is in the fuck up group for just being a lesbian? Yeah, wait a minute. I thought that was like the alcoholic. I'm sorry. Is that bad for me to assume that the white beater? You would think, but- I mean, but now it's just, oh yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> I love this video so Why does this happen all the time? Time. I'm like a blind man walking through a perfume shop. I'm like a black guy switching lanes in front of the cops. I'm gonna need a sec. Wait. I'm gonna need a sec, bro. Is he. Wait, okay. A blind man walking through a perfume shop. Just stupid. We'll skip that. Stupid. Like a black man switching lanes in front of a cop. Is he being woke or is he being offensive? Is he saying that there's a problem with the police and that. <laughs> 
black people can be pulled over for doing normal. Th As I say this out loud, I'm overthinking. It. Yeah, like here's the thing though. He said, I want to write a song about being a fuck up. Then he wrote down a list of just as many things in his brain that equate to being a fuck up or like fucking up. Yes. And then he just put and all the words just mush inside the lyric. Like yeah. that doesn't make any sense. No. So I don't think that he's being extra woke. I take that back. But I do think that it's interesting. It's a fuck up if a black person switches lanes. Yeah, that's just, mm, man. Stay in your own lane is what she yeah. was trying to say, which I don't know if that's the right thing to. Uh... That was a good one, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm just trying to make my way. Just mean, man. That's not being a fuck up, dude. That's just being a dickhead. It's actually like scalding hot and there's just like, just take it. That's fucked because now this poor guy has wet pants. As somebody who has been in a wheelchair for a long time, period of his life. You've been in a wheelchair? <laughs> For quite a while, yeah. I'm not in a wheelchair anymore. I was about to say, that wheelchair look that you're in right now looks fucking sick. Dude, dude it's so sick. <laughs> GTR racing, wild, man. bro. <laughs> I've been in a wheelchair for, I would say, maybe five out of my 21 years. Wow. Because of Lyme? Because of Lyme. And surgeries, I'm guessing. I had like seven knee surgeries, so. Oh, it was fuck. Yeah, and I only have two knees. Yeah, that's so many knees you went through, bro. I was going to say, as somebody in a wheelchair, who has been in a wheelchair. Yeah, you can speak on this. I was thinking it would be really funny if I took the other stance and I was like, well, the guy in a wheelchair could be the biggest asshole. And like, I know that I was a big asshole when I was in a wheelchair because I was really grumpy. So maybe he deserved to get the copy board on him. But that's not what that's I'm so saying. <laughs> This guy is an actor. Dude, that's Artie from Glee. What are you talking about? This is Glee. I know that when I was in a wheelchair, if I was cast to be in a Shane Dawson video and for him to pour piping hot coffee all over my balls, I would really love that. No, my nuts run cold, honestly. Yeah. So like having yeah. that, you know, Maybe this is actually him kind of becoming not a fuck up. That's true. This is- Damn it. I'm going positive again. I can't. You need to stop me. Just- I'm sorry, I'm a fuck up. Yeah. I love the trope. There's no way. There's no way. His bridge idea was, oops, my bad. <laughs> oops, my bad. What the fuck is this dude who signed off on this? It was probably just him. But you know, he had people backing him, his like team or whatever. Like he had to have a manager who had seen this and was like, oh yeah. That's, that's fine. These are like day rates for a bunch of actors, right? You had to rent out a space like- Oh, I don't blame any of them. Get no. your bag. That surgeon, I do blame him for killing that poor patient. Yeah, he should rot in hell. The actor and the character. Yes. I hate him because his beard too. I'm just <laughs> jealous. I'm just a bad luck charm to blame when things go wrong. I will say, I do appreciate the change in chord progression, but that's the only thing. The nice little, uh, you know. The nice little uke. Still giving royalty-free copyright yeah. music. Oh, oh, definitely. Hey, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a fuck up. Yeah, I can't do nothing right. I'm sorry, I'm a fuck up. Ah, he's a fuck up. It ain't no one's fault but mine. I'm sorry, I'm a fuck up. Oh, and it's still upside down. Oh, man. Did you just see that? No. What was it? Did he high five a blind dude? No. I would say this is maybe worse. This guy's going to become a father. I can't do nothing right. No fucking way, dude. There's no way that he thought that was O fucking K. He hired a child to kiss him on the cheek. The thumbnail of the re-upload is the kid kissing him on the cheek. Of course it is. Fuck, dude. Run that back so one fun. more time. Yeah. Also, he high fives him just fine. Oh my, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? The fact he's like, oh, 
Oh well. Oh well, I'm no. a fuck up, so I'm gonna no. take it. That's no. literally what he does. No, no. I'm a fuck up, I guess. This is horrific. It really is. I'm glad to know that he actually did delete this. It's crazy that this even came to fruition, that somebody looked at this and was like, that's going out to the public. This probably had millions of views. Yeah, most definitely. I don't know. And that poor kid too. Yeah, and he's probably a fan. That's a good call. He's definitely a fan. He's a fan for sure. You know, Shane was like, oh, filming a music video in LA this week, looking for extras, ages. Oh my God. 1 to 13 like months and his fans are like oh, I'm, I just turned 14 the other week I can't give him a hot peck a hot peck on the cheek roof No, no, it's not gonna be a gospel choir. Also, I think that's Anthony Fantano right there. That looks just like him I've never seen Fantano's lower half, but I mean This makes me so genuinely sad. I would love it if there was a gospel choir. Maybe there would be a redemption to the bad music. Fuck no, dude. You know the only reason he brought a gospel choir in there was because, yo, sorry, we need some black people. If I can't paint my face black in this video, then I need actual representation. Oh, oh my fucking God. What? What? What the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't even know. Do you just see the kid in the wheelchair throw himself out? No! Look on the right. What? <laughs> As somebody who's been in a wheelchair, I'm not standing on my legs to then fall on the ground. You do this for what? And you can see him like rock forward a couple times like to get the momentum to fall out. At least he's in character, you know? It's almost over, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ew! <laughs> Fuck what, Shane? How is there still like a minute and a half of this music video left? Is it just a okay. thank you to all the yes. people that he offended? So there you guys go. I hope you like the song and I really hope you like the video. See, that's why I stopped. Yeah, no, we can fucking skip this shit. No way your outro is going to change any opinion of this music video that, yeah. that I have. You remember when he came out as a wig wearer? No. Is that a thing? Wig wearers? He made a video, like an apology video where he went, so yes, I shaved my head um, and I was trying out a new look and I've been wearing a wig ever since. And he's like crying at the camera. It's a really good video. Very on trend for the YouTuber that is definitely thinking they're more famous than they actually are. For sure. Yes, for sure. Well, that's his original music. Personally, one of my favorite genres of video on YouTube are cover videos. Really? You used to- I used yeah. to. I do a little, you know, music from time to time. I do frequently enjoy watching some good covers. Okay, all right. This is Shane Dawson, Blank Space, Taylor Swift parody re-upload. Oh. He deleted this because, want to hear something interesting? He got threatened with legal by Taylor Swift's team because this was so graphic. They took this as a threat. I'm not surprised from Taylor as well because she That's definitely gets after that shit. She smells a little lawsuit. She's like... <laughs> Yeah. Ah, it's my time. Taylor in her full form. Let's see what he's got. Okay, so it's a parody at least. My girlfriend got into my car. True. It's Taylor Swift, man. Oh. Hashtag Team Tay Tay. Come on, just give it a play. The king of runs. The king play. His voice is so different. Like his actual speaking voice. Speaking production. His vocals in this one and the other one are so unbelievably tuned. When you don't hear any vibrato or like even with runs, when you go, ah, uh, you hear the step. You know what I mean? Like the step in the voice. You'll never hear that in any of Shane's. All of his vocals are pinpoint accurate to the notes. I love picturing Shane in a booth, like with his finger on his ear going, play. Oh, yeah. Also, great start off to the parody by just completely dissing, dissing everything and, and, and disrespecting the artist that you're covering. That's how you get the artist and the fans on your side. I need to write that down.
Why is this actually me though? Jake, did you plan this? Is this just my reaction video to listening to Taylor Swift for the first time? Because I will say, as somebody who has just also recently started listening more and more to Taylor Swift, that is a pretty accurate reaction. People did shit on her for kind of being just, just her. You know, she is definitely like one of the best writers of our generation, I, I will firmly say. That's a bold statement. For pop music, it's just very clear that she is, so. I was that way with Olivia Rodrigo. I was like, I don't wanna listen to this because all these people like it and I'm so different and quirky. And then I listened to it and I loved it. It's hard to get out of the hipster mentality when yeah. we've been conditioned to be hipsters for like yeah. 10 years. Also, I don't know, emailing back and forth with her team because she needs a tour photographer. It's fine, it's fine. Now that's where it takes a turn. There's so yeah, many other it. shower scenes he could have shown. And that's not him. I like the boombox outside of the beautiful shower, but yeah, it's also like, fuck? I see the size of that bicep and I go, oh, Shane. Oh, sh <laughs> That's like if I was trying to film a shower scene and like had a double, some fucking jacked guy. All my doubles are gonna be unbelievably jacked men from now on. Also boombox? I know. Uh, does he not know about Bluetooth? Did he cut it? Is, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Did he just chop his dingling off? Is that what he was? No, Troy, that was his O face where he goes, ah, cut that out of the video. Cut that. Did he just chop his dick off. No, he came. All right, well, so what is the theme here? Because these are all the same. It's the same joke every time. <laughs> Inspirational quotes when I need them most and he's about to fucking off himself? Like, that's, dude, that's- He loves Taylor that much. It's so I, stupid. It's so dumb. It's definitely shock value, you know? Definitely shock value for sure, but wait till you see the end because it gets better, buddy. I think about her when I'm having sex with my girlfriend. Having sex with your girlfriend? I don't think you have. Because she is my soulmate. What? I've got to make a plan. He <laughs> completely clothed. <laughs> Yeah, he'll go and he'll blur the shower, but when the yeah. sex scene comes, he has sex completely clothed. Yes. Actually kind of impressive. Super impressive. The fact that he's fucking through jeans is something I've never heard of. First I have to get rid of my current girlfriend. I have to make it look like Oh, no, I'm okay, good. So, yeah, I'm good. Like, I watched this and it's like, Taylor Swift has actually had a history of stalkers. She really has, though. <laughs> right, so it's like, why Taylor Swift? I don't know who he could make this about that would be funny. Taylor Swift especially. This entire concept is so unfunny. Yes. There's shock value within it, which makes you go, oh my God. But like, yes. overall, the joke that he's trying to communicate is just not funny. It reminds me of those TikToks that are like going viral right now, where it's like dudes working out in the gym and they're like pretending that you're my girlfriend and you say something stupid and I just throw you off a cliff. It is the most unfunny shit ever. And this is literally exactly what it is. It's interesting how all of those jokes have a theme of men being awful to women. Yo. What Yo. the fuck? Shit! Oh my God. Holy shit. I forgot that he did that. Oh, <laughs> that's like really gross. That's not oh like- Oh my God. Like that's fucking disgusting. I, I don't I don't even know what to say. How did she let him do that? Wow. Also the length it took like to get the DIY face mold and all of oh, yeah. the like- Imagine pitching that to your significant other. Hey, so I have this idea. And it's, you might see, it's, think it's a little quirky. A little, little quirky. A little off color, but it's going to do really well. And then you fucking like, oh, that's so crazy. Oh, and the fucking, like, what the fuck? What, what, what? The voices, like, it's just, it's so much. That's, it's, oh my God. Well, now he looks dapper though, that's good. I'm on my way, oh. <sighs> Buddy, I don't know. So insane. It's 
unbelievably tone deaf. Considering like what you said about the history, you can even see it now with like Kim. Yeah. This is no way a funny joke. No, I do think it's funny to look back on and think that he thought that this was like his Magna Carta. Like he thought that this was like it. I'm imagining Taylor's team watching this being scared out of their fucking mind. I would too, this is a threat. Not only is this shit so unfunny and so terrifying, but now they probably realize he has an actual following and then he's like yeah. capitalizing off of this fear. It's so shitty. And he's putting out this message to the world. I don't know, it's a weird thing to put out and be like, I'm Shane Dawson, I have 10 million followers. He's giving Stan culture the worst name. I kind of had a similar opinion where it's like, yeah, oh, it's probably just blah, blah music, you know, sure. gummy little pop music. When you really dive into like the fandom and like the stands, the people that live and breathe Taylor, yeah, you're gonna get some that are just weird and annoying, but so many of them have like a deep emotional connection to Taylor. I can't imagine that a Stan seeing this is just at their wits end because this is Seriously. disgusting, bro. Yeah, and if I was Taylor's team, I'm actually glad that they sued him. Oh, you look so cute up in your bedroom. Oh, I can't wait to be How far is he going to go with this? Oh, buddy. Hey, sir, who are you? Can I help you? Sure, smell these flowers. Don't you think they smell? Oh, there's good. a gun in the flowers. No. Oh! <laughs> oh my fuck, oh my fuck, oh my fuck, oh my fuck. <laughs> That's not funny. Who laughs at this? Bro. Chief, how did he get away with this on YouTube? I feel like with anybody else, this would be like a ban. Immediately. People on YouTube have been banned for so much less. Yeah. Now he's in Taylor Swift's house. Yeah. He just killed the bodyguard and his girlfriend. Yeah. Now let's, see, let's just see what's next. I don't have to watch like this, bro. Yeah, I agree. That's a cool guitar. Oh my god! Oh, great, Shane. Hey, wow. Shane. Shane, wow. that's really good. Just essay right yeah. there, bro. Unapologetic. He claimed to have been essayed by family members and then to recreate a horrible situation and publicize it to his fan base. That is so awful and so disheartening that he's having a kid. This is a real human. Part of me likes to believe that when somebody becomes a parent, when they go through that nine month period, we would hope they would come out with a different mindset. I cannot fucking say that about Shane Dawson. I have no reason to believe that he is going to be anywhere close to being a responsible parent. No, he's awful. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I'm sure the kid's gonna get everything they want, spoiled out the ass, but like yeah. to have to grow up with the knowledge that this is your father, oh my God, bro. Re-uploads will always be out there. Once that kid turns 18, I hope they get the fuck out of there, bro. I agree. If we ever have kids, what? They'll see you reacted to Olivia Rodrigo and I made fun of some old guy at Disney. His kid will see that he has done literally everything wrong. Also, imagine being his kid and then listening to the podcast clip where he called a baby sexy. Oh, how does this go up and you don't just immediately delete your entire channel. Like I would delete my entire channel. I would. Also, there's a production team on this. This is shot better than the last one. It is beautifully shot, I will say, yeah. It's it's very nicely good. edited and makeup looks good. And even the practical house. effects, like when he was doing the horrible shit. That was horrifying. If that was like a horror movie, that looked pretty fucking good. The context ruins it though. Let's see where this goes from here. Oh, and fuck. and fuck, let's see dude. If, let's see if it's even allowed on YouTube anymore. I didn't feel a connection, did you? No! <laughs> what? <coughs> weird. Because I was thinking, I was, th I was thinking we were gonna, you know, but. Well. 
At least he doesn't kill her. Just one more thing. <laughs> why, why did you say that? <laughs> I had hope. That was my first mistake, is I had hope. He walks away and you go, it's over. And then he comes back and he kills her. Oh what the God. fuck? Wait. Get ready for this, buddy. her face. Oh. <gasps> That's a human being that made that and said, I did it. This is viral. It's, I don't know what else to say. Honestly, I don't know what else to say. Like, like lock him up, dude. Seriously. <laughs> lock him up, dude. Honestly, I was praising the production value, taking it off the table. He clearly has too much money, too much time, and is too unfunny to be making shit like this. 2014, he was doing this. Whatever his legacy is gonna be, it has put a damper on so many people's lives. Oh, it's so, it's so distasteful. The fact that he made a video. I need a shower. How to find Taylor Swift, kill her and wear her face. And he thought that she would enjoy that. Cause you realize that he knew she was gonna see it. When you're a creator that big. 10 mil. Even fucking, I get lucky. Some of the yes. videos like get seen. He knew she was gonna see that shit. What part of that did he think that she was gonna enjoy? Enjoy. The part where he starts the video off by saying, oh yeah, fuck this shit. Or the part that he goes and sex her. Not only murders her, but rips her. Oh my God. He's killed three people in this video. Dude, uh, consider it four, cause I'm fucking dead too, bro. Yeah, I'm fucking I've, done. I'm deceased. Well, buddy. Yeah, wow, that was- That was uh, Shane Dawson. What a treat. Thanks, Jake. You learn. You learned a lot. I'm gonna go have day nightmares now. <laughs> It's when you have a constant nightmare and you don't close your eyes. It's just <laughs> happening all the time now. Great, 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 great. Yeah. That's awesome. Another person scarred on my channel. Well, hey, thanks for having me, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming on my channel. It means a lot. In all seriousness, thank you, Troy, for joining me. Always a pleasure. Check out his channel, HT Hayes. Boom, boom. Yeah, I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.